What do you do all day in your room? I catch up on my correspondence. I suppose you'll have to notify someone of your wife's death. How did she die, anyway? She died of tetanus. I took the liberty of looking you up in who's who. Now, why ever did you do that? I don't know. For one thing, you have an American passport, but you don't behave like a real American does. I thought there was something to you. So, you found out I was born in Appleton, Wisconsin. Just like Harry Houdini, the great Jewish escape artist. I wonder why he and I chose to be born there. Is there an element of choice? Of course. Science is on your side. It seems we bring a great many powers with us, Miss Volstead. In the Chronicles, Napoleon's mother, before he was born, used to enjoy visiting battlefields. Don't you think it possible that years before his birth, the little hoodlum was looking for a carnage-loving mother? Besides, how is it that both Harry Houdini and I, both from Appleton, Wisconsin, have such a struggle with the problem of death? Did Houdini do that? Oh, yes. He defied all forms of restraint and confinement. They buried him and he escaped. They sank him in boxes and he escaped. In Tsarist Russia, the Okhrana stripped him naked, put him in a steel van that they used for Siberian deportation, and he broke free from that too. He broke free from everything. And when he was done, with his triumphal tours, he would go home and he would head to the cemetery. And upon his mother's grave, he lay down on his belly and through the grass, in whispers, he told her where he had been, what he had done. Tell me, tell me, have you peered into an open grave lately, Miss Volstead? At this point in your life, such morbid obsession is understandable. There's only one thing to do. It's obvious. Obvious? Yes. Don't play dumb. You know what I'm talking about. You and I would do very well together. With me, you'd stay free. No strings attached. Come and go as you please. What do you do in your room, Mr. Citrine? I am preparing to write about the Spanish-American War, and I'm catching up on my correspondence. You seem to be muttering to yourself in your room. Surely you haven't been outside my door listening to me. Pilar tells me you're talking to yourself in there. I read fairy tales to Roger.